Welcome to our module on the Zotillo add-on for managing your Zotero library. Zotillo is an add-on for Zotero created by Will Shanks, which adds many extra menu items to Zotero for managing tags, item data, file attachments, and more. It makes doing bulk operations in Zotero much easier. In this module, I'm going to talk about this excellent Zotero add-on. We're going to cover what Zotillo does, how to install Zotillo, configuring Zotillo, and my favorite Zotillo features, including copying and pasting tags, creating related items easily, and copying and pasting item fields in bulk. To follow along in this module, you need to have Zotero installed on your computer. You can get the software at zotero.org. And for more information on the basics of using Zotero, see our online guide or check out the Mastering Zotero guide on GitHub. This module also uses examples from a sample Zotero library. You can use your own Zotero library to try out the features I cover, but I've also made the sample items for this course available for you to import into your Zotero library. That way you can see exactly what I see and follow along click by click. To learn how to get and import those sample items, see the course setup module and come back to this one when you're ready. This is the fifth and final module on this unit on Zotero tags, collections, and related items. It's a bit of a pro tip for people who have been using them for a while and want some tools to make managing things a bit easier, but I still encourage everyone to take advantage of it because you're going to need it eventually. As an aside, there are actually many add-ons for Zotero that add functionality, with most of them listed on Zotero's website. Here, I'm going to tell you about Zutillo, whose name is a mix of Zotero and Utility. It can save you a bunch of time and make managing your library quite a bit easier. Zutillo adds a bunch of flexible and configurable keyboard shortcuts and menu items to Zotero for managing files, tags, related items, and for copying and pasting information between items. Once it's installed, this is an example of how a setup can look. If I right-click on an item, you'll see I have a Zutillo menu now with a bunch of extra functions I can use. Depending on how I configure the add-on, some options might be available directly from a right-click. There are a couple of features for collections as well. I hope this sounds exciting to you because I really, really love this tool. First, Zutillo is an add-on, sometimes also referred to as a plugin or an extension. If you've ever used an extension for your web browser, like the Zotero Connector, you'll know what an add-on is. The Zotero Connector itself is an add-on, also known as a plugin, that adds support for Zotero to your web browser. The Zotero software is open source, and that means people can improve it and add to it. As a result, there are a number of really great add-ons for Zotero that you can use to customize and improve the software. You can find information on popular Zotero add-ons on the Zotero website. You can get a little overwhelmed by all of the options here. There's lots of cool utilities and add-ons for Zotero, but most of them are installed exactly the same way as Zotillo, so I'll leave the exploration of the other add-ons for you. In Unit 2 of this course, we'll be talking about Zotfile, which is another must-have add-on. Now, under the Interface Tools section, you will see a link to Zotillo. This is a plugin that was created by Will Shanks. You can also get to it directly on the web because it's stored in GitHub, which is an open source code repository. Now, what we're looking for on this website is an XPI file, which is the format that Zotero uses to package its add-ons. You'll see that there is an XPI file here, so I will right-click and save the file to my downloads folder. And just one warning here, the XPI format used by Zotero is the same format that Firefox uses for their web browser extensions. So if you're using Firefox, make sure that you right click and save instead of trying to download the file by clicking on it. In Firefox, if I just click the link, you'll see that it thinks that I'm trying to add a plugin or an extension to Firefox instead of Zotero, and that's not what we want. So make sure that you right click and save. Next, we want to install our add-on. So in Zotero, go to Tools and then Add-ons. Click the gear icon and select Install Add-on from File. And you're going to browse to the location of the add-on in your Downloads folder and add it. 
Some add-ons require you to restart Zotero before they'll activate, and they'll usually tell you if that's the case. But Zotillo will actually work right away, so we can just close this window, and we're all set. Now that Zotillo is installed, you'll see that you have a new Zotillo Preferences option under the Tools menu. So let's select that, open it up, and set up Zotillo. The Preferences pane is in three sections. The first is used to add or hide additional features to the Zotero item menu. The second is for creating new keyboard shortcuts for Zotero functions. And the last tab has a link to full documentation on what every option in Zotillo does. Back to the user interface menu, the first tab. Every item in here has three options. The first one puts items in the Zotero menu. That's what you see when you right-click on an item or collection. The other is to put items in a Zotillo sub-menu, which appears inside the right-click menu. And the third is to hide the option altogether. So as you're working with Zotillo, if there are features you use a lot, you can save some mouse work by putting them right in the item menu. Features you like but you don't use often can go in the Zotillo sub-menu. And of course, if you hide an item, it won't appear at all. Now there's a lot to cover in the Zotillo options in terms of the things you can add to the menu, so I'm gonna focus on a few key tools that I use and that I think will help you a lot when you're working with Zotero. My favorite items are these. Copy tags, remove tags, paste tags, relate items, create book section, create book item, copy item fields, and the three paste options, Paste into empty fields, paste into non-empty fields, and paste all item fields. I use the copy and paste tags items the most, so I put these in the Zotero menu. Most of the other ones I leave in the Zotillo submenu, and of course, you can change these any way you want. So rather than going into everything in detail, you can check the documentation for that, I just want to show you some of the ways that Zotillo can make managing your Zotero library much easier. So let's say I've spent the afternoon collecting articles related to my research, and before I finish for the day, I want to make sure that I add some tags. Doing this for multiple items in Zotero can be a pain in the butt, because you need to go one by one, but with Zotillo, it's easy. I can add a few tags to one item on this one here, let's say Canada, since everything I found is related to Canada, and to read, which is a tag that I use to remind myself that it's an article that I haven't read yet. Now I can copy those tags by right-clicking and selecting Copy Tags. And then if I select the other articles I downloaded today, I'm gonna to grab these ones here, I can paste the tags to the other articles at the same time. Just right-click, select Paste Tags from Clipboard, and it's done. The Remove Tags option is also helpful. Let's say you've added an item from a database and a bunch of automatic tags got imported that you don't want. So here you see I have an entry for a book about colonialism in Canada, and the database I got it from has pulled in some tags that I don't think I need. I can get rid of these tags by right-clicking and choosing Remove Tags. This removes all of the tags on this particular item. So it fixes the problem for this item, but it does not remove the tags from any other items in your library. If you like using related items in Zotero, you'll know that you can actually relate more than one item at a time with Zotero's natural interface. But you have to use a few different steps to do it. It involves a pop-up window and a search, and it's a little bit slow. With Zotillo, I can just do this. Highlight a set of items that I want to relate together, in this case, some magazine article reviews of Miriam Taves' Irma Voth, and an item for the book itself. And then I'm going to select Relate Items. Right-click. There it is. That's it. When I look at one of these review articles now, I see that the other reviews are also listed as related, and so is the book. The last example is one that I actually use a lot. With eBooks online, some publishers actually make individual chapters available. And often when I'm doing research, I don't want the whole book. I just want one section. So I'll download a chapter instead of the whole thing. And when you do that in Zotero, the Zotero item type that I use is book section. 
But then later, as I'm doing my research, I keep going back to the book and I start adding additional sections for other chapters. And then eventually I get to a point where, listen, I'm basically just going to cite the whole book. So rather than keeping entries for every individual chapter, I just want one entry for the book. To do this manually in Zotero, I would have to duplicate the book section item and then edit its type, change it to book, and then I'll get a warning about fields that might get lost, and then I double check the result. It works, but there's a few steps involved and I have to click a number of times. With Zutillo, I just highlight the book section item, right click and select create book item. I still have to check the fields here to make sure that they're correct, but I've saved a couple of steps. And Zotero jumps to the new book section right away, the one that I've just created, and puts my cursor right into the title field so I can actually add the title. And of course, I can also go in reverse. For example, I can select a book item and then use Zotillo to create a book section. Zotillo will create the item and then again, put my cursor right into the title field so I can put in the title. The last example I want to show you are the copy and paste options for item information. These are great if you find, for example, that you have a, a typo in an author's name that uh, spans multiple items, or if you need to add an editor to a whole series of book chapters, etc. things like that. First, let's use copy item fields. Now in this collection here, I have three book sections for three chapters of Goldberg's Threat of Race. One chapter has all the right information, but these two you can see are missing the author and the book title. So what I'll do is select the item for the complete chapter, the one where the information is correct, right click, and then select Zutillo, copy item fields. Now I need to paste this info into the other two chapters, but in this case, I do not want to overwrite information in fields that already have entries because that could cause other problems. In this case, the other two chapters that I have of the book have different page ranges in them. The page numbers are different, and I don't want to mess that up. So I'm going to use paste into empty fields so that when Zotero sees a field that already has data in them, it's not going to replace it. It's only going to put information in fields that are empty. So I'm going to select both items here. I'm going to use a command click on a Mac or a control click on a PC, right click, and select paste into empty item fields. Now you can see I have accurate title and author information for the book, but you'll also see that my page range has not been altered. Paste into non-empty fields would do the opposite. It would overwrite only the fields that have data in them and leave blank fields blank. And finally, as you can guess, paste all item fields will actually paste everything in from the clipboard, whether or not the existing fields and the item that you're pasting to are empty. Now I'm going to talk to you briefly about the shortcuts feature in Zotillo. If you don't use keyboard shortcuts a lot, this might not be of interest, but for those who prefer the keyboard to the mouse, this can be an excellent time saver. In the Zotillo Preferences, which is Tools, Zotillo Preferences, select the Shortcuts tab at the top. Here you can see you can set shortcuts for more than 70 different Zotero functions. So let's say I want a keyboard shortcut for Generate Report for Item. So I'm going to select that option here. And then you see that the keyboard shortcut in the text field at the bottom is listed as Disabled. Now I'm going to click in the field at the bottom and actually type the shortcut that I would like to use for this command. So let's try a command that involves the letter G, since I'm trying to create a shortcut for generate report. And since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to try shift command G. So to do that, I'm just going to press that key sequence on my keyboard and click apply. Huh. So Tara has warned me in this case that shift command G is a key combination that's already being used for something else. So that means I have to think of something else. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to highlight this again, and hmm, seeing as we're doing generate report, how about shift command R for report? That'll work. I'm going to click apply, and this time I did not get a warning. And then if you look in the window, it says that the key sequence for shift command R is now listed next to the generate report command. So now I can just close this preferences window. And now all I need to do to create a report from a Zotero item, instead of going through menu options, is to select it and press shift command R. So I'm going to select the Killing Me Softly chapter from the book, press Shift-Command-R, and there you go. As you can see, Zutillo gives you some great tools and can save you an awful lot of time. I recommend it for everybody. In this module, we covered installing and configuring Zutillo, 
using Zotillo to manage tags, related items, and item information. I highly recommend this add-on for everyone, even if you don't think you're going to use it right away. It's one of those things where you're in the middle of maintaining your library and you're like, I wish I could do this easier. Zotillo will help with all of that stuff. This can become a very valuable tool in your arsenal. And with that, we are finished the first unit on managing Zotero collections in our Zotero course. See you in unit two.